Yo, 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 what up, fellas? How we doing? How's things? What's happening? Um, it's time for Halo, lads. It's time for some Halo, lads. Are we ready? How long is this going to be, do you think? Put on some Halo music? Oh, but it's, it's all out of order. This one's Halo. No, it's not. That's Final Fantasy. Hang on. Why did I think that was Halo? Um, I'll find one for you. Hold on. Hang on. Ego, ego, ego. Perfect. Oh. Oh, my God, that's so perfect. Oh, my God, it floods my very soul. Thank you so much for the bits. Hype. Never forget, man. Never forget. Halo 3, never forget, is the greatest piece of music. The This is probably my favorite piece of Halo music. Not the main theme. Not the main theme. Not the fucking Warhog run. This it's my favorite piece of Halo music. This is where all of the... This is what brings all the memories flooding back, right? Of sitting there on the main menu of Halo 3, getting ready for some matchmaking while this theme plays. I could just, like, imagine being in an Xbox Live party. All of my mates are talking through their fucking shit fucking garbled mics. We're just having a laugh. Getting ready to play some fucking custom games. Getting ready to go into some matchmaking. We can play some Forge. Oh. Oh, that bit. This bit. I did it's leak so a little good. bit. It's yeah, so I did. I, I, I pissed myself. Thank you, Epic Alaric. That's it. That's it. Oh, man. Anything Thanks so much for the sub, Ash. You are hoping to see in this showcase? Um, some sort of, like, set piece, I think, is probably, like, the only main thing I want to see. Is, like, we saw a vertical slice of, like, this open environment the first time we saw the campaign. I would love to see some sort of set piece action moment whether it's for five seconds five minutes i don't really care but as long as we see something that looks like it was a scripted moment you know what i mean something that's not just like oh here's a set, set stagnant space but you're actually going through like a set piece like the end of like like the more in halo one like the uh the end of halo three um just something that looks like it was crafted to be you know, something a bit more than just this stagnant, boring open space. That's, pro that's probably my only thing, is I just want to see maybe something that looks like a set piece. I mean, even 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 that, that trailer we saw last time with the weapon, that, to me, was like a set piece type thing, where, like, it's not just set in the open world and all you're doing is going through this forest, you know? It's like you were going, like, the chief was going through, pushing off these, like, marines, grabbing a weapon using the grapple to pull himself through like this this um shot off um i guess it was like a unsc like free hit or something um or maybe it was a it was a banished ship that's been like fucked up i don't really remember what it was but um i just something that looks exciting to play yeah something that looks exciting to play um i don't think it'll be long i think it'll be quite short right similar to like if we look at the um the other overviews they've done. If I just search Halo Overview. Or Halo Infinite Overview. We can look at one of the old ones. Um, the multiplayer one was 12 minutes. The PC one was 9 minutes. So think around that. Like between 8 to like 15 minutes long. Something like that. Um, which is plenty of time for them to like talk about stuff. I think. So this is, this is Mass Effect isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's, uh... Let's take off Shuffle and can just play through some of these Halo... Halo pieces. Um... This wasn't expected, yeah, for sure. By the way, James, the guy who made one of the... made the disc plates behind you also has one of the Energy Sword and the Chief's Helmet. Oh, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me, because I will do it. I have some spare space. I could put them up here. You wouldn't see them, but I could put them there. I could always put them there, but I did want to get a shelf. I probably won't do that now, though. Um, who knows? Uh, it starts in eight minutes. It's eight minutes. Um, actually, it's more of the general story. I'm getting an even further idea of what it will be about. 
how we got there and what the objective is. Maybe a little Cortana tease. Yeah, I want to see, I would love to see how Cortana factors into the story, but I kind of like that they've not shown that side of things the 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 cortana and her created i i kind of like that that it's not um um that it's not been too openly shown um i do maybe i would like, I'd like to see a bit but i kind of like that we don't know a great deal of it um the only story we saw of cortana was a line from halo 3 well yeah the whole um The, uh, I knew it'd be perfect or whatever. Um, so we know Cortana's in there somewhere. We do, we do know that. Um, and we've, we've, we've we like, we, there's been some dialogue or whatever between, there's, there, there, they, they, they released some dialogue, like, you can find some bits on, out in the open world, um, in Halo Infinite. There was, like, a little, there's a little audio, audio log they put out between John and Halsey talking about Cortana. Um, so we know it's it's relevant in some way, um, and yeah, she's she's definitely doing bits, and they've they've been leading up to it in some of the novels too. Um, before I play Infinite, I'm going to read Shadows of Reach, um, which is a prequel to Infinite sort of thing. It bridges the gap between like Halo Five, Halo Wars Two, and Halo Infinite. That that sort of that sort of gap in time, um, the, the 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 few months between those games. So um, I'm going to read that at some point once I'm done with reading what I'm reading now. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to maybe see how they do tackle that in the campaign. I don't know whether we'll see any, but it'll be interesting. I need to put my air conditioner on. There's no way I can sit in here, wait another five minutes and watch through this whole thing. In this heat, it's ridiculous. I just recorded the full Phyllis podcast. Um, so it's just really fucking hot in here. Oh God. Cool this fucking room down. Holy shit. Um, I'm back what I missed. You missed nothing. We've got only a bit till it starts. Five minutes now and it'll be it'll be going. Um, yeah, Mario was there. No, he wasn't. It was... Uh, oh, my God. We started recording, right? We got 20 minutes into the show and George is like, oh, my recording stopped. And we're like, okay, when? He's like, it stopped one minute in. So we had to start the whole fucking podcast again. Because his fucking, his recording for whatever reason just stopped fucking a minute in. And he didn't realize until 20 minutes in. So we had to start reading the whole thing again. Um, oh, some of the words are blocked in chat because uh, the Halo Infinite campaign, a lot of it was leaked um, when the first flight came out. Um, so there's a lot of leaks floating around. I have I have a bunch of words blacklisted because I don't want spoilers. Um, but there you go. Um, well, uh, yeah, I just would rather, yeah, avoid avoid spoilers than anything else. Nice haircut. No, I need a haircut. Um, <laughs> I definitely need a haircut. Look at this fucking growing back. It's ridiculous. My hair grows so quick. I had a haircut like two weeks ago, and then it just like it. My hair just grows so fucking fast, man. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. I have to deal with this every single day. It's rough. Um, but you know, there you go. There you go. Size of fucking short? They're fucking not. This is, I mean, it is short, but like, I like it shorter than this. And it just, it's, it's quite long on the top. Like, I do need to get it trimmed. I just need it tidied. You know what I mean? I just need it to tidy the fuck up. Um... Yeah, the stream that I'm always from was really fun. That was a fucking fun stream. We need to do more like that. Um, what do you think about the new character models in GTA Defend Division? I think they look really good. I, I really like them a lot. A lot of people said it doesn't... Um, they, don't, they don't like them, but... I really like them. I think they look really good. Um, it's like... Um, they're very crisp. They're very sharp. they still got that stylized nature of the original art style. I just think it looks like... Yeah, I don't know. It looks good. It just looks good to me. Um, so it's just like, you know, they're not trying to make them fucking photorealistic and gritty and grounded. It's supposed to look like the stylized, cartoony, 
nature of the originals. They're not supposed to look like real people. It's supposed to look a bit cartoony, which I like. Um, um, James, change our plan for this week. I today, later today, tonight we're doing um, more Persona Five Strikers. Tomorrow, I think we're going to be doing Halo Four on George's stream, um, and then Wednesday I'll be doing more Final Fantasy One. Uh, Thursday's Final Fantasy XIV because we're moving it to Thursday because Friday is Mario Party drunk stream. Me and Alva are going to be drinking, uh, doing shots of vodka for donations, and uh, playing playing some Mario Party. That's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to Friday's stream. Um, and then yeah, depends what we're doing on uh, Saturday it's as to like how hungover I am. Uh, if I wake up and I just feel like shit, I'll just text George and be like, "We're not doing it." <laughs> There's no horse here, Fox. Um, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Ben is here. Let's go. Halo time. 60 seconds. Um, and then Sunday, uh, we'll finish Resident Evil. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, it's going to be a fun week. It's going to be a fun week of streams. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Some more low-key ones. Some more chill ones. A bit of Final Fantasy XIV. Some uh, drunk stream. Final Fantasy a uh, Resident Evil A. It's fun. It's a good week, I think. It's a, it's a good week. Um, hey, Josh. Welcome in. Um, I'm really hyped oh, i hope this doesn't disappoint me oh come on come on please be good every sit look the way we've got to think of it right is every single trailer for halo infinite's campaign has been good except for that gameplay demo the gameplay demo is the only time it's been bad it's been good every other time we've seen it every literally every other every other time we've seen it it's been good the only time it's been bad was that first gameplay demo we saw. I'm worried. Why does your health bars above enemies and damage numbers? I will cry my fucking eyes out. I am serious with you right now. I will cry my fucking eyes out. <laughs> Let's just hope the campaign's been moved around a bit. Let's hope it's been... I mean, we, we know it's been changed drastically. That's what, they, that's what the reports have said, that it's been changed drastically. I'm refreshing because it says it's starting shortly. Come on. Joseph Sam, we trust. We do indeed. Imagine if there's an epic team at the moment. Chief and the Arbiter. If Arbiter's in this game, I don't want him to show it in a trailer, though. Like, if Arbiter was in this game... No, if if Arbiter's in this game, I, I want it to be revealed in the game. I don't want it to be revealed in the trailer, though. Although I don't think the Arbiter is probably not in this game. I don't know. He's a big character, though. He's been so underutilized since Halo 3. It's really fucking weird. Hey, man, how's your day going? My day's going good. Thank you, man. How's your day going? Um, what if all of Noble Team and Captain Keys came out of Time Vortex? That'd be so epic. Here we go. Oh, I love it. Bow. This is they they did change it yeah it's got a new new thing to it you can you can choose it from a bunch of different ones okay I'm excited I'm excited my day is great it's my birthday it's making it even better oh shit happy birthday man. Happy birthday, man. Hope you have a good one. <laughs> Hope that Arbiter has been Halo 5 armor. Oh, I would slit my throat. Imagine, imagine how good Arbiter would look in the Halo Infinite art style, though. Like, oh, could you imagine how good Arbiter would look? I wonder what happened to, like, everybody. Because, like, the UNSC is, like, fucked, we see from the trailer. Like, loads of people are dead. I wonder what happened to Blue Team. What happened to, like, Fighting Osiris? Like, what happened? What the fuck happened to all these characters in between Halo 5 and this game? I know Shadows of Reach probably tells you a bit, but... Because I believe Blue Team are in that, but... I'm interested to know. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, but it's... Come on, Halo. Come on, Halo. Just bring it, bring it, bring it in for me. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Hang on, I need to... Just quickly drag this over here. 
Okay. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Since the beginning, Halo was about Master Chief and Cortana. Partners protecting humanity. But that is now a distant memory. Humanity is fighting for survival. The Banished have risen, defeated our heroes, and taken control of the mysterious Zeta Halo. We need a savior. We need hope. We need Spartan 117. Master Chief. Oh, <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> okay. We have a new mission, soldier. What is it? What's down there? A weapon. A weapon? How many guns do you need? Looks visually interesting. Oh, the door. It's the door. Biggest campaign to date, Halo Infinite invites players to become Master Chief and discover true Spartan freedom in the most wide open and adventure filled Halo experience yet. But Chief won't be alone on the journey. It looks fine. His first mission is to retrieve a looks new the same as the multiplayer. Code named the Weapon. It's been six months. Where have you been? Following the events of Halo 5. Master Chief is searching for the answer to a troubling question. What happened Ooh. to Cortana? Cortana's purple I was again. I to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? Okay. Received. Stand by. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Answer is somewhere on Zeta Halo, a damaged world full of wonder, mystery. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, that looks really nice, though. Wow, yeah, no, that looks really good. Yeah, so does that. That looks really nice. I mean, that's Halo. Like, that's fucking Halo. The banished are hunting Master Chief and the remnants of the UNSC. Victory is already ours. We will meet on the battlefield. The banished army is spread across the surface. Building I don't like how open it is, though. Outposts with no one to stop them. Until now. Oh. We got hunters. From the beginning of the Halo saga, Master Chief has been a hero. Ready to fight and win against impossible odds. Chief, is that you? You're safe now. Oh, he's speaking. Shut the fuck up, Chief. Stop talking so much. Incoming. But what if it's a friend? It isn't. Oh, Master Chief is very Master Chief, though. He's very Master Chief, though. Oh wait, they have health bars. Wait, what the fuck is this a boss fight? What the fuck is this? Players now have more freedom than ever before to take down the banished any way they choose. Oh god. Facility up ahead, chief. Oh no. <laughs> no, I don't like it. What do we do? <clears throat> Shut it down. Permanent. Oh no. Oh no, bandit camps. <laughs> Looks good though. What do we have here? What the fuck no? What the fuck no? <laughs> no, what? Why? Three four three. Oh, I like it. 
Why is this like looks amazing but also fucking terrible at the same time? It allows us all to become Master Chief, doing what Spartans do best. But I don't really think that's the odds to take down the banished. I mean that was cool as fuck, but by peace. This won't be an easy fight. Master Chief will take on returning favorites and surprising new threats like the agile skimmers. A sadistic Spartan killer named Jega Erdomni. Look out, Chief. He looks angry. And something even more threatening. The Forerunner's lies are at an end. I Ooh. am the harbinger of the truth. You are not the future. Exploring Ooh. this vast and fractured world will put Spartan 117 to the ultimate test. But where there is courage, there is hope. Welcome to the new era of Halo. Is everyone trying to kill you? It kind of seems like it. Hmm. <clears throat> that was like 50% incredible, 50% no thanks. Play it day one with Game Pass. Uh... Um. Since the beginning, Halo was about Master Chief and Cortana. Partners protecting humanity. But that looks that really cool, though. Um, I mean, my issue is mainly just like how open it and focused it is on being open. Hey, Geek Fam, thank you so much for the eight months, man. Uh, yeah, it, kind of, it really does come down to the story being good because the gameplay is not going to make it. Biggest campaign to date, Halo Infinite invites players to become Master Chief and discover true Spartan freedom. Like, I don't care about this. Like, I don't want to... I've never wanted to, like, open-world free-roam a map as Master Chief and kill a bunch of enemies. Like, that's not, to me, what's fun about Halo and its gameplay is that you're going through a linear piece. It's not your choice. Like, you choose how to, attack, like, come out of scenario, but, like, the scenario is set up for you. You're going through a story. This is not that. In the most wide open and adventure filled Halo experience. Like, I don't want a wide open adventure filled Halo. I want a linear. Be alone like, the journey. I always knew it was going to be this, but it's still, like, frustrating. The first mission is to retrieve a new AI. Like, that looks so good, though. Codenamed The Weapon. I do like how Cortana's purple, though. Um, this is weird too because it just shows like how focused it is on being open world. Like I'm sure you can go up here as well. Like it's like the game is like an open world game, so it's like call in a vehicle, go across the open world. It's giving me like uh, Death Stranding vibes. Order received. Stand by. Yeah, like who's gonna buy this? Like this is the multiplayer is free. They're but I guess that's the thing, right? The campaign needs to be huge and expansive. Otherwise, how are they going to sell it? A damaged... Like, you're going across this... Like, I just don't want to, though. Like, I don't... Full of wonder. That looks really nice, though. Like, that looks really fucking cool. Mystery and danger. Like, it looks pretty. And, like, this looks really cool. Like, you come over, Master Chief jumps down, you shoot the rocket launcher... The banished are hunting Master Chief. It just feels like, how can it be, like, story-focused? Like, like Halo used to be. Like, how can it be focused on a, on, a, on, a, on a singular story if the game is so open? Um... The banished army is spread across the surface, building fearsome strongholds and outposts with no one to stop them. Until now. <laughs> This all looks very Halo-esque, because it's very tight and close, but like... It's 
It's like, this world is so big. Like, why would I... I don't want to explore a big world. Master Chief has been a hero. Ready to fight and win against impossible odds. Chief, is that you? You're safe now. Did he do a dodge? Wait, what? Where? Holy fuck, I didn't even notice. Wait, was it here? Wait, no, not there. Wait, when? When's the? When's the dodge? I I can't see it. The beginning of the Halo saga. Master Chief has been a hero, ready to fight and win against impossible odds. Go just before. Them. Until now. Oh, fuck off. Oh, man. Why would I want to go save Marines? Like, that's not... I want a focused story that's, like, actually really interesting and has a bunch of cool fucking moments. I don't want to be, like, going around just like, I'm going to go save a group of Marines. I'm going to go do a bandit camp. Like, that's way too big. Like, look at that shit. Like, what the fuck? There's nothing even there. Like, what am I going to do? Drive across boring green fucking fields to get to another bandit camp? And then, what, take them off? For what reason? Why am I doing this? Uh... I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh. The fucking boss fight. He's got a fucking health bar. Oh my god. So this is the map. Do you have set like areas that are like smaller condensed areas? Like this is, oh my god, area collectibles. Oh my god. There's, there's skulls, and the skulls are now marked as, like, collectibles on your map, so you have to go around, like, fetching a bunch of shit. Upgrades, fob, targets, database. There's a fucking database. I mean, that's kind of cool. So what, like, are these? Ransom keep, destroy the silos. Oh, my God. Primarily operate by banished loyal Sanghili warriors. This outpost primarily functions. Functions seem to be related to the appropriation of UNSC material. What reason do I even have for doing these things? Like, I just don't... The game's got to give me a good reason to do it. Like, what reason do I have to go into here, take this shit out, and do do it, like, over and over again in different places? Like, why am I do? it? Why would I want to do it? What do we do? Shut it down. Permanently. It gives me, like, fucking Just Cause vibes. It's like gameplay for the sake of gameplay. Oh my god. Armor upgrades. I want to kill myself over this. What do we have here? Ugh. Yeah. So you're doing bandit camps to get Spartan upgrade points so that you can upgrade Master Chief. Oh my god, that's not fucking halo it's not master chief why is this in the game what's wrong with just a fucking focused linear shooter man what the fuck why do you need all this do you see that? Could be the gameplay looks so solid as well like Going in, you're getting a weapon. Halo Infinite allows us all to become master. It makes equipment better. Spartans do best. Defying the odds to take down the banished. Piece by piece. 
This yeah, what's targets mean? Master Chief will take on returning do we have yeah, do we have Cult of Cosmos? And surprising new threats, like the agile skimmer. Yeah, I know they showed Craig, yeah, I noticed that little meme. A sadistic Spartan killer named Jega Erdomna. Say good hi. Look out, Chief, he looks angry. And something even more. Like are these enemies that are just are these just like a, you have a bunch of different enemies for each like open world segment that you do? And you've got to do this. Or are these are these tied to the main story? Or are these like side side stories? I just don't really understand. Well, damn. I mean, that's a mix of disappointment and also there's some really good shit in there too. Um... But I don't know. I think my issue is they've not shown enough familiar stuff. It's all like, it just looks like a new game. It like it doesn't feel familiar to me. It feels, I, I just want a fucking Halo game. Like, I just want a Halo game. Like, why is it so hard? Why does it have to be this open world thing with a bunch of optional different things you can do and exploration? Like, I don't really want to do those things. Hmm. Damn. Well, fuck. It's, uh, I just hope the campaign is good. I hope the story's good. I really do. I hope the story's really good. Like, I really like the weapon. I think Chief sounds fucking great. Like, everything he says in this trailer is brilliant. It's like, oh, Cortana's new design as well. Wait, where the fuck is it? Yeah, she looks so much better in this than she looked like in Halo 5. I mean, she still looks very Halo 5-esque, but she looks really nice. And I do like that Cortana's part of this game, so that's it's it's part of it. Um, I hope the story's really solid. Um, I really do. I hope the story's really solid. Um, and, like, actually has so many, like, a bunch of great moments and stuff. And I hope the focus isn't on the open world. I hope it's all side stuff that you can do rather than it being, you know... The primary focus. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm still very excited. I'm still very excited for more Halo, for new Halo, um, and to see where they take this. Um, I am still, of course, excited for it. I guess I'm just disappointed to see... I wanted something familiar, you know what I mean? I just wanted to see something familiar and not just, like, exploring a big open space. Because, like, I just don't care. Um, so it's, it's whatever. Halo mixed with Ubisoft? Yeah, a little bit. Um... It's a bit, it's just, it's just like, it's like Halo meets not Halo. It's weird. Let's try to market to the audience to get people to buy the campaign so more players free. Let's try to remember what we've seen from the story trails. Uh, the campaign trails been familiar. Yeah, true, that's true. They are trying to market this to, to the mass audience, but I don't see why they can't market a Halo game to the mass audience. Halo is, is where it is because it hit the mass audience. Like, Halo 1, 2, 3, they're as big as they are, not because they had to do fake marketing, but because the marketing was what it was, they marketed the game as what it was, and it sold fucking insanely well, because it was great. So, I don't see why they need to do this, but... Six months, let's go. Hey, thank you for the six months, Runic. I appreciate it, man. Um, it's, um... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I guess we'll, we will find out, won't we? We'll find out what this game is going to be when it launches. Um, I need to head off, though. i got shit to do, um, and I will be streaming later tonight. We'll be doing more Persona 5 Strikers around, like, 7 p.m., 6.30 p.m., something like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be all good. I'll see you guys later this evening for some gaming tonight, but uh, I'll probably make a video on this. I'll probably talk about this a little bit on a video somewhere in the next few days. Um, we'll see. I'll try and get my thoughts out, try and make a video analyzing, like, you know, why do I think what I think? Where is this going? Like, you know, I've got some stuff to say. Um, so I'll try and turn it into a video. But I'll see you guys later. We won't raid anyone. I can't be bothered. Um, there's no one live anyway, so it's whatever. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. That was a bit of fun. And, uh... We're all good. And the PlayStation event. Oh, yeah, Wednesday's the PlayStation event. Oh, I'll figure out what I'm doing with streams. I'll figure it all out. Anyway.